Hey guys, today we are going to talk about eight cards with surprising prices. Surprising in the fact that they are so expensive right now. And we will start with this card from M13. When I think about M13, I really don't think about valuable cards. But this one is definitely a good one. It's a Mythic 2140 right now. And it does a lot. Essentially, it's because of ED8's maybe some fringe legacy play, but ED8's is where it shines best. You may cast non-land cards from your hand without paying their mana cost for 10. 7 in triple blue, this card will always be very valuable, and hopefully it will see a reprint soon. Maybe I'll title this 8 cards that should be reprinted in Iconic Masters. Probably. So this is a $21 card and very pricey, needs a reprint. Hopefully when it gets reprinted, it won't be a mythic anymore. So its price tanks a ton. Uh, one of the reasons, if you look at the price chart, you could have got in much, much, very, very low at RTR. The card was not seeing much play in standard and it didn't catch on until in ED8s until much, much later. So next card we will talk about is this random card. I believe it's definitely a commander reprint. I forget what it used to be in. But this card is very, very good. And it has slowly become a $9.53 card. One a green and white. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. This is the commander version. The commander versions, as I've seen, do have a premium on price most of the time. It's kind of bugging me where this card came from. I'm. It's definitely a reprint, but a reprint from where? I want to say in, in Invasion, but Invasion wasn't really... What's it? A buddy color set? Oh yeah, let's take a look where it was reprinted. Oh yeah, I was right. It was reprinted from Invasions. So it's been some time since we've seen this card. And that's where the price is. It is an uncommon. It would be nice to fit every $10 uncommon in something like Iconic Masters. That's what they should do. They should like make a list of every card over $10 at uncommon and put an Iconic Masters. And that way they will sell packs. I'm more concerned about the, the uncommons and commons in the set than anything else. Speaking of another card from Commander, Commander 2013 that has been trending up and is now $5, Thousand Year Elixir. Free artifact, you may activate abilities or creatures you control as though those creatures had haste. So as soon as you play them, you can tap and one untapped target creature allowing you to use that ability again. ED8 is where the finance is. Standard is very stale right now. I was looking at the deck list that have topped events in Tamir. If it works, has done even way better than Sahili Ra has ever done. And they have dominated the Magic Online format. And there will likely be a pending ban on If it Work Marvel. Because, well, I guess they could just wait it out until the Ajazi Titans rotate out, which will be soon. But regardless, standard. There's not much money to be made from standard cards. Maybe at the Pro Tour you can make a little bit of money from spikes, but even that, like A for Work Marvel, clearly the best card, will not spike because no one wants to play it. I mean, you want to play it because you want to win, but you don't want to play it because you're enjoying it. Anyway, let's talk about some old school cards. I do want to mention that Desert Twister, which I have lots of and i need to go find i need to find these cards i have stacks of these cards because i have them on video on this channel i just don't know where they all went uh, probably somewhere in storage after the videos were made this is an 11 dollar card desert twister it's a 11 dollar card when i say when i tell you hey if you see arabian nights in a store and you can buy for really good prices buy it Buy the card, buy Arabian Nights, buy all Arabian Nights, because one day they will be worth money as collectibles. And that is the easiest way right now I would recommend to build up a collection because Desert Twister is like a, it's a quarter card when I used to play. 
and the Cyclone is pricey too. I, I don't know what the price of Cyclone is from Arabian Nights, but these cards were joke cards. Like they were absolute jokes of cards when I was playing when I was a kid. How I could never imagine this card would be eleven dollars. Like that's just mind blowing. Like if you told me as a little kid, hey, you need to accumulate like hundreds of these because it would be really easy to do so at the time for like ten or fifteen cents. I would say, no, you're being stupid. There's no way this is going to be eleven dollars. But lo and behold, Desert Twister is now eleven dollars and sixty cents. I don't think it's going to drop below ten dollars anytime soon. It's not even that iconic of a card. I don't even remember playing it. I just remember like opening it and be like, oh, this is not Panther Warriors. This sucks. All right, let's talk about this spike cycling. We did talk about this before, but now the price has stabilized. Uh, what happens is it's never going to be the fifteen dollars it used to be. Now it's at twelve. It might hit ten, but it won't be the pennies. The pen, like, it's like a dollar or two dollars that it used to be. It will always be more expensive from now on because of the cycling cards. So when you're looking at abilities, minus one, minus one tokens, cycling cards, look for something that is unique that they will rehash. Because let's be honest, Magic doesn't come up with new abilities very often. When I mean like new abilities, I mean abilities that, that have not been invented. Minus one, minus one counters was a big part of Shadowmoor, and now it's a big part of Amakant. Cycling, really, really big part of um, Urza Saga, and then later on Onslaught. And maybe Odyssey, I think, had some cycling. I know Onslaught definitely did with the uh, lands. Oh yeah, Onslaught was the big cycling set. And then they repeat it again. So this is the type of card that will always have the potential to spike and cards like it because they rehash old stuff. And Bomb is just like, what is that flashback for creatures, right? That's what it is. And then the other mechanic is like flashback for spells that have different effects. So it's like a fuse combined with a flashback card. Maybe one of the things we will see is Phyrexian Manor again. And I know people will say, oh, you know, we'll never see that again. Well, I mean, Wizard Coach runs out of ideas. Like the one thing that you have to know about magic, it's very cyclic. So one of the things I made the most money on was the Zendikar Fetchlands when they were selling for ten, five to $10. I bought and bought and bought because I remembered from the Onslaught ones where I was like, oh, hey, these things were 5 to $10 and then eventually it became 40 50 60 before reprints, even, you know, 80 100 I said, huh, well, does any car fashion lands ever become that? Probably not, but let's say best scenario, they become 50 uh, Eventually they did become 100 but I couldn't predict that, obviously. So it went extremely well. Phyrexian mana is always going to be well unless they ban it. And that's kind of the trickiest scenario you are in. Surgical Extraction, I hope they ban it. It's a $21 rare from New Phyrexia. That's absurd. This card, like I didn't even play it during standard. I remember like opening packs and being like, oh, this card's kind of crappy. I don't want this card. And I wanted, um, you know, I was playing Delver at the time. And Delver was just such a better deck. And you wouldn't play, I mean, at most you play Extraction from your sideboard. But this was like pennies like it was like a dollar or two for the longest time as you can see and now it is expensive because the meta has shifted phyrexian mana will always be very strong assuming it's not banned so let's talk about the older cards i've seen a trend of fifth edition and sixth edition being more valuable i'm not sure what is going on but i own lots of cards from this set so it's interesting trend to me personally because the cards in this set, I can tell you just, they are very flat line because they're weak. They are as weak as Amaket, possibly about the same power level. And that's no good because if you have a weak set, nothing's going to be quite valuable. Yeah, you have Birds of Paradise and stuff like that, but it's not a, it's not a set where cards are in, that are in it will increase in value. I have a lot of 5th and 6th edition and it's not something I'm proud that I own, but I have seen the uptick on those cards in particular, uh, Flash, 
Uh, a lot of these cards have been going up and it might just be it's time. Unlimited is already super expensive. The next set after Unlimited is 4th edition, the next core set, and then 5th edition, and then 6th. Eventually, these sets will have to be more expensive because there's less supply out there. Which gets me to my last card, which is Spirit Link, which has been climbing and climbing and climbing until it's a new high of $7.18. This card, back in the day, you couldn't even sell it for a penny. You couldn't even... I wouldn't even buy it for five cents. Now it's a $7 card. What I'm telling you is very simple. If you own old cards, do not sell or trade them away at this time. If old cards being Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, uh, Legends, um, I'm missing a few. Well, anything like from nine, so that format called 9394, anything in that format, it's time to hold on to it and see where this goes. I don't believe the format is the reason these cards are going up. I believe the cards are actually considered collectible items, which they previously were not. And there will be a shift in, there's already a shift in prices. These prices are insane. $7 for a Spirit Link, a regular Spirit Link is like five cents, but this is a legend Spirit Link. So I need to go through my cards because I am fairly certain I own lots and lots of this. I just don't know where they are because I made videos about this, right? And like, I'm watching the video. I'm like, wait a second, where, where did these cards go? Where's all my kismets? And um, yeah. Anyway, that's it, guys. Bye, guys.